Hello everyone, this is Ashwin again. Welcome back to my tutorial on OpenCV3 and Python 3. So in the last tutorial, we saw how to install matplotlib on an Anaconda distribution using the Conda installer. So till now, we have been um, displaying the images uh, with OpenCV's uh, internal imshow function. Okay, so this is a small example of it and we have already seen uh, this, this, this piece of code, right? This is a simple piece of code which reads an image and uh, from a disk and then it uh, displays that image so um, these three lines right we have to write these three lines of code in order to display the image as well as we have to wait for the key press and then it uh, this the open cv destroys all the windows the process is a bit tedious as well as it uh, doesn't come with actually so many features right and it is not even suitable for scientific computing where you can actually club multiple images together and then display it in a single window. So let's have a look at a method which uh, which will allow us to do the same. So for that we are going to use matplotlib. So uh, before we begin we just uh, we will just like execute this program okay. We are just going to read that image okay the lena the famous lena image into grayscale mode and then we are going to display it on the screen. So it opens a separate window and it displays a 512 by 512 image okay of lena in grayscale mode and then whenever we hit the escape key or whenever we press the close button here okay it is going to close the window it is going to kill that uh, window so now here we are going to see an here in this tutorial we are going to see a new way to uh, handle uh, the image display output we are going to use matplotlib as i have said earlier so just say import uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt uh, this is uh, pyplot is a package in uh, matplotlib and uh, we are going to create an alias of all these things like uh, matplotlib.pyplot as a plt and then we are going to use uh, a plt to call uh, all the functions in the pyplot and matplotlib um, so now let's comment these three lines of code or well, let's not comment these three lines of code also and let's proceed with uh, our stuff so uh, plt.im show and the image is um, img correct and finally plt dot show so this plt dot show is used to uh, show the image and plt dot im show is uh, used to push that image into the uh, queue which is going to display the image so if you have got multiple images then we have to repeat uh, these two lines of code multiple times okay so now whenever we are going to when we are going to execute this func uh, this piece of code we are going to see an output here in IPython console as well as we are going to have a separate window, uh, separate OpenCV window uh, outside of this IPython console. So let us execute this code and see what the output is. Okay, here we are able to see the Lena image. Correct, it, it, this is the CV2 window and whenever we are going to hit uh, an escape key or whenever we are, we are going to close uh, this window, this is going to kill the window. Okay, but, um, but uh, this plt.im show right this output okay the output corresponding to these two lines of code is shown on the ipython console you can even uh, copy this output actually okay uh, in, in case you are actually planning to uh, put it in a word file or something it can be copied to a word file so so let's try to do that okay okay it seems that the object cannot be copied so let, let's try to copy this copy image and okay so we can even paste it in a word file so basically it creates an object okay of that image and then it pushes it to the queue okay and whenever we say plt.show whenever we, we uh, write this code plt.show it pushes that object to the console okay uh, to the ipython console so now uh, you might be wondering that the image is grayscale but we can see it in the tints of green and blue so what what's wrong with the image okay if there is anything wrong with the image or if there is anything wrong with this uh, matplotlib library. So basically, let me uh, tell you how this uh, imshow, imshow method works, okay? So this, whenever this imshow, okay, imshow takes any sort of data, whether it is an image or not, it, it really doesn't understand the nature of that data, okay? So as of now, we are passing it a, a, a grayscale image as an argument, okay? Uh, but this imshow function, it doesn't know that this is a grayscale image. And there is a concept known as color maps, okay? So color map means uh, it, it actually just like colorizes the image, okay? It, it just like assigns the colors 
um, according to the if that information doesn't have any sort of uh, color right so it just like assigns the color values by by itself okay so that thing is known as default color map so uh, yeah, this is actually predominant in case of like uh, the data where which doesn't have like multiple channels right so as we know that for a grayscale image there is only single channel right i mean there are no channels at all there is a single plane or there is a single matrix okay and then uh, i am show is going to interpret it as a uh, like simple matrix and it is going to apply its default color map so whatever you are able to see here on screen is nothing but the default color map so you can actually change the color map and you can just make that color map as a grayscale just like say gray c map equal to g r e y save the code and let's execute the code again uh, if you if, if you have noticed already i have already commented the code so don't uh, don't like say that where is the code for uh, the cv2's window or for the sake of convenience, we'll, we'll just go ahead and delete this code because it is no longer required. And for uh, rest of the uh, for rest of the tutorial, we are just going to use the uh, same convention. We are just going to use matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we are going to use that plt object to uh, to display the images. Okay. So now I'm going to execute this code. Okay. I think that uh, I have actually made. Uh, a mistake in the color map but anyway nevertheless it has actually printed all list of all the color maps which are available okay so the color name of that color map is gray gray it's not gray gray uh, so i guess american english and british english kind of stuff so let's go ahead and uh, execute this code and i think that we are able to get the correct output so this is the correct output okay and uh, the image has been um, uh, image has been displayed with the correct color map here uh, image has been displayed with the color correct uh, color map i mean the default color map of this image is um, uh, uh, the gray okay so we have actually put it uh, like uh, applied uh, the value gray color map and it, it shows the correct color map so there are so many other color maps right so there is a spectral color map we can just see that okay so spectral color map looks like this for a grayscale image and then r okay so this is the spe spectral r okay now that is i think a reverse spectral color map okay you can see all the green as red and all the uh, red as green and uh, red as blue and all that sort of stuff so uh, there are so many other colored maps uh, let's try a couple of stuff okay let's try blues color maps save and run it again so it is going to yeah it seems like a negative of an old uh, black and white camera film okay and um, there is like reds probably it is going to uh, give us a red negative yes it, it, it gives us actually red negative and there are so many other color maps you can just like try a uh, few of those on your own okay let's try another thing here okay so we have blues uh, we had actually reds, blues, and let's uh, display the image with grayscale color map first. Okay, just type gray, G R A Y, and let's see what the output is going to be like. Okay, so let's clear this window again so that we are going to have a fresh output. Okay, and let's execute the code. So, as you can see, you can have like even two images using this uh, um, the combination of plt.imshow and plt.show so uh, this is how we can use it now you might be wondering if there is any way we can title these windows yes there is a way we can title these windows so uh, but all these functions right uh, the functions which are we are going to call for displaying title have to be uh, used before we uh, make the call to ims uh, to uh, plt.show okay so just say plt.title and grayscale color map g r a y color map okay and let's uh, display this one uh, with the default color map gray color map okay and this one has to be default color map not the red color map so that uh, the difference will be more clear meanwhile we can clear the console um, default okay and now let us execute this code and you can see that the gray color map is like this and the default color map is like this also there is a way uh, we can um, we can make these uh, numberings disappear but 
these are going to be useful right uh, so this could be useful actually it is the way you think um, it is that depends on the way you think right so uh, this image is a 5 512 by 512 image and you can see that uh, it is displayed in it in its correct uh, resolution 512 by 512 this is 0 to 512 and this is also 0 to 512 at uh, the x and y so uh, um, as we all already know that uh, the x and y starts here right the origin starts uh, at the top left corner of the uh, image so we can make these things disappear so for that we just need to type uh, plt plt dot x t i c k s and plt dot y ticks okay so this is going to make these um, numbers disappear okay so let's save it and let's execute the code again okay now we can see that uh, we do, do not have the scales here right we don't have any scales or rulers here so this is how we uh, can use um, matplotlib library to display the images in the way we want and from now onwards we are going to use uh, this library exclusively for our for our, all of our visualization purpose uh, throughout this um, throughout this entire um, series of tutorials okay uh, not only uh, that this matplotlib library is a very important library right so whenever it comes to visualization of data this is one of the most prominent libraries uh, this is one of the most prominent open source libraries that can be used for uh, displaying the data with uh, python okay and even matplotlib has got a few of uh, uh, the few of the um, for functionalities um, for like processing the data on its own but uh, that is uh, that is a topic for um, a later tutorial please do, do let me know if there is any anything that you find um, i can improve in this tutorial or if you have got any new idea for the tutorial in the comment section down below in case you are wondering where you can get the code you can find the link to the github repository where i have uploaded this code um, in the description section down below um, thanks a lot let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe I will see you next time.